Hello YouTube, Dogfoot9 here, and welcome to another episode of Battlefield 3 Experiments. And today we're doing the AK-74M, the um, Russian first weapon unlocked for the assault rifle category. Um, and today we're going to be putting it with a heavy barrel and a foregrip. But the foregrip, I don't think it's really needed. You could use it if you want to, but I'm using I'm using a foregrip anyway just to test it out. But mainly it's the heavy barrel we're looking at today. Um, because foregrip doesn't really affect the heavy barrel, it just they just seem to be a really good combination. So yeah, let's talk about the AK-74M. So the AK-74M, as I said earlier, is the first unlocked um, assault rifle for the assault um, class, and it's quite overlooked when you first get it. It's probably the most overlooked weapon in the assault category, mainly because it's the first unlocked one. And the other, and the, its equivalent is the M16A3. So um, when people unlock both, and they mainly go for the M16A3, as it's got a higher fire rate, and um, it's just well known to be and one of the best assault rifles out there. So this weapon is really, really overlooked. Also, it's got quite low um, fire, um, rounds per minute, um, and so many people just don't look at it at all because they think rounds per minute is the high best thing which you need which is not true at all because um, it depends on like what ranges you want to use a weapon at and it's recoil and everything like that um, so yeah so let's move on to why I put the heavy barrel on here as I said earlier it's got a really quite a low RPM I think it's 650 and um, I can't remember I'm sure it's 650 but it's really really low so you don't really want to be using it in close quarters unless you're behind the enemy um, and um, you've got the jump on them. Um, you could use it, but it's not probably the best way to use it. You could probably use it more effectively at like medium range, because at medium range I found it was the best. Um, now I'm using it on uh, the aftermath DLC, so it's probably not the best to use um, to show you um, me getting behind, um, doing quite long range shots. But I have got some Caspian border footage coming up in a minute, so um, you should that should hopefully show you it's mid to long range potential but there is some um, quite long range gunfires gunfights in this um, video so anyway moving on a bit more I put the heavy barrel on there because really I don't didn't really want to go in for close quarter kills with this weapon so I decided I'd try the heavy barrel on it and it did qu work quite well I must say I don't think it's got very the high it's like not a sniper rifle bullet trajectory so obviously you've got to lead your shots a bit and over range you've just got to aim a bit higher to get them headshots and things like that but um, overall I won't go for extreme ranges with this I put the red dots uh, and the cobra sight on this so it's easy to manage at mid range but really I won't go for super long range I'd stick to medium um, and probably use it on maps um, which you can use those medium um, sight lines on um, you could maybe lock down an area on TDM like I was doing on Caspian border and um, but really I won't take I won't take it onto a massive conquest map um, and maybe sit on the outskirts of a map like on Operation Firestorm and sit on the mountains and try and snipe people from long range as it probably wouldn't work for you and you probably need a sniper rifle for those situations but it probably could do a couple of um, get a couple, couple of kills in those situations anyway so I put the heavy barrel on here I know that it decreases the hit fire um, a bit more but really it, it you don't really want to you don't really want to use a hit fire as I said it's not a close quarters weapon and I must say that the foregrip did slightly help in close quarters situations but um, due to increased bullet deviation which the foregrip gives a weapon over long range you might not want to use it but seeing as I was using it on some on TDM where there's a variety of gunfights and um, I decided to just put it on there just in case I got into close quarter situations but when I did foregrip still didn't really help I still got quite killed quite a bit of the time and it probably wasn't just foregrip's fault it was probably because it's got such a low rounds per minute of this weapon so yeah, let's think. I'm going to talk about my overall review now of this setup and what I think is good about it. And what I'd say is good about it is it's really it does improve the medium range and long range capability of the weapon. As you see, here, I get some quite nice shots on these guys over across the map, and it's really good in those sorts of situations. But if you want to use it in close quarters situations, I'd probably go for a different weapon. I'd probably go for something with a higher RPM, like the AEK or F2000, or if you want to, the FAMAS. Um, 
if you do want to use it in close quarter situations you could maybe use a G18 as a secondary and pull that out if you get into sticky situations but really by the time you've pulled it out you might have already been killed so um, you probably if you don't want to use this in close quarter situations and I can't stretch the trap stress that enough sorry about that but you, I can't stress that enough that you don't want to be using this in close quarters but overall it's a really nice weapon to use and um, if you play Con conquest a lot on big maps I'd probably recommend it it's quite a nice um, game um, a nice and not a quite nice gun to use and I've really enjoyed using it so yeah, if you've got a loadout for me to use guys, please leave it in the comment section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos and like the video as well um, if you'd like to see more. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be bringing out a video tomorrow explaining what I'm doing over Christmas um, and about YouTube and everything like that. So wait till tomorrow for that. And until next time guys, I'll see you later.